Mulch and more mulch. Mulching day, Josh. We're gonna wrap this day up, aren't we, man? All right. Out here, early squirrely. About to head out there. We have four yards we're doing first, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna go get more. And we'll do the rest, last four, and then that project's gonna look awesome. So while he's, while I'm spreading the first four mm -hmm. yards. He's gonna go get more. He's gonna get four more yards, mm -hmm. and then when it gets back, we'll both be knocking it out. Everybody's always doing something. Efficiency is key. Everybody's always doing something. Is that how I talk in the morning? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go get do something right now. Okay. Making some progress. Got mulch there. Mulch up there, and mulch over here. Mulch, mulch, mulch. Well, there's a lot of mulch on it, so it's kind of hard to get into. Okay, we've got this brush loaded on. The first four yards all spread out. And then, Josh, I'm going to go get some more mulch. And uh, I'll see this. when I get back. He's going to spread it. Efficiency, get stuff down every time. You ready? Right. Time to get some mulch, everybody. Landscape fabric going down. About to spread it out. Have the staples. Staple it in. Like I said, you can make this a temporary aspect of your landscape. You know, you you can do it to where. You have a landscape fabric for about a year and a half or two. Kills off all those weeds. I mean, this was a massive bush right here. Um, but yeah, we wanna make sure that it is uh, not having any alive roots underneath of those, those weeds or, or those bushes, plants, whatever we don't want to have there. It's a great way to, without spraying harmful chemicals, clear land, clear space. And this fabric is permeable, so water is going to get through. Don't just do general plastic because then you'll really kill everything underneath as far as like the soil. You don't want the soil to die, you want the plants to die. So um, yeah, because there's a little microbial life in here that that uh, needs to be alive for our plants, which we're planting in, to survive. Here we go, here we go. Staple in time. Yes, and I wanted you to taste it at least. I'm planting these, I like to put, put them out where I'm gonna put them. And this happens to be in one intersection, so I'm just gonna do a cut like that. Cut like that. It's already cut the other way, I'm gonna pull this out for now. And then you just fold it under like that. Makes a square. You can either do this or you can cut a circle. Either way it works. The goal here is to allow the least amount of, see like this is Bermuda, this is uh, grass, so the least amount of other stuff underneath to come up. So I'm gonna make sure and remove whatever I can right here as soon as I'm ready to dig it all out. But yeah. The reason I allow that flap is because later on I'll pull it back in and it'll cover up more of the surface than if I was to cut it all the way around. Okay, we're done everybody. We are done. Look at this. Let's take a little tour of the area. So this bed's looking nice. We have the monkey grass right up here and then the salvia. Right in there, those will bloom it off all summer long. And then we're gonna have some peonies. This client really loves peonies, so we're gonna have some peonies through there as well. But that will have to be later because we don't have peonies with us. They're kind of hard to find. We come up here. Voila. We use this stone that we sourced from other areas of the landscape. A little bit right there. Wrap around. We decided to keep the juniper. 
And then we have these, the three Nandina. These are nice looking. Oh yeah. Right up here. Same here, the pink. And then right through there is Drift Roses, more Nandina. Two of these uh, sky pencil bushes. Some more salvia on the sides. The ewes that were already here, but we trimmed them down a little bit to where they'd be lower than the, or at least close to the bottom of that window. Coming through, we're probably gonna put something here later, but um, we'll see what we do with there later on. And then distillium, arborvitae, three, two arborvitae here as the nice pillars. And then drift roses and more of the little guys. So yeah. We did the mulch fairly thick so that it would keep the weeds down. And also it hadn't been mulched in a little while, so it needed it. Pretty awesome. Okay everybody, this is the before video. Before we do any work. Got all kinds of weeds and stuff and this bed is going here. Got a bunch of holly and rose bushes right there. Gonna pull those out. And down here, we have the entrance bed. Cow boom, there we go everybody, it's all done there. This is how you transform a bed using landscape fabric. I'm talking, it works. And we don't have to worry about those crazy holly coming up through there. Don't have to worry about any of the drift rows coming up. Those are set in, they have soil around them. If you want to, you can fertilize them. But there's plenty of good material down there and we use the excess, you know, nasty, um, weedy soil. We put it in here and went ahead and put the landscape fabric down. And because we did that, it's essentially composting these underneath that fabric. So it, and I also raised up the bed to where it has a nice, nice uh, height. It's going to shrink a little bit, probably about two or three inches. But all in all, it worked out. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was fun to make. And we have right over here, I put a little rock accent since we already had the rocks. And then we used some of these Lorapi. I did three of the solid type and then two of the variegated type here to have a nice look there. Always pull the mulch out from the trees. Otherwise those trees are gonna get hurt. Plants breathe through that right there, that root collar, so you have to free them up, otherwise you might suffocate them. Thanks for watching the Garden Guide channel. Here we go. Let's keep on sowing and growing. Let's keep on transforming these areas into awesome and beautiful places. Sometimes a little landscape fabric will do the trick. See you next time. Sweet, Josh. Thanks, man. We knocked it out together today and yesterday. We did. That was fun. We basically transformed this whole place. Honestly though, I don't did you get it before and after? Okay. It's great. Yeah. It's really cool. I came here, I was like, ah, this place is not very pretty. And then it was like boom. Oh, looks awesome. Cool. Well let's go man. Peach cake out of here. Peach cake. I would like some of that right now. Me too.